Hey, it's Andrew, and in this video, I'm going to show you four Facebook ad image styles that you really should test for any campaign that you've run. Now, you'll often hear advice, and I agree with this advice, that when you're starting a new campaign, you should really test all different creative types, meaning images, videos, carousels, and even instant experiences. But what you don't often hear about is that for each of these different creative types, there are different styles that you should test as well. And so that's what this video is all about. I'm going to show you four different image styles that you should test for any campaign. So just to give you an idea of how effective this can be, we did this for a new campaign that we started really recently. And one of these particular styles outperformed the others by 40%, meaning our lead costs were 40% cheaper for this one particular image style. And at the end of the video, I'll talk in more detail about how to approach your next steps. So after you test all of these styles, what do you do next? Okay, so make sure you stick around for that as well. So before we jump into the first image type, if you do enjoy this video, please just give that like button a quick tap. Uh, that's all I ask for on this channel. I don't sell anything, but if you enjoy the video, I simply ask that you tap that like button. It really does help get these videos and this channel in front of more people and help me keep creating the best content possible on Facebook ads for you. So the very first image I'm going to share with you is the text only image. Now, looks a little something like this. And the text only image is pretty much what I described it as. It's a simple background with some text on the front. Now, usually all we do is match these with the brand colors, meaning the colors of the brand that we're advertising for. And more importantly, matching it with the colors on the landing page colors and font, I should say. So the style matches. We really wanna make it congruent with our landing page. But these simple ads can be really, really effective. They're quick and easy to make. And the real key here is that you take a similar approach to writing the text on these ads as you would with a Facebook ad headline. So follow those same sort of rules that you would with a headline, create something short and punchy for the text on these text only graphics and they can work really well for you. One thing I will say here is a lot of people ask me, well, what about the text rules? Facebook actually don't have text rules anymore. They used to have rules that said if you had more than 20% text on your ad, it would get flagged or rejected, but those rules just don't exist anymore. So you don't need to worry about it. So that's the first one, text only graphics. Make sure you include those in your roundup of images. So the second one we're going to talk about is the photo plus text. Now again, pretty self-explanatory there. Basically what these are is they're a photo with some text overlay. Often these will also have some graphic design layered in as well, so some patterns and things overlaying this, but essentially what they are is a photo with some nicely designed text over the top. And you've probably seen these in your newsfeed before because they are extremely popular. Now, that can be a good thing and a bad thing because anything that's extremely popular well, it's popular because it's working for some people. But once it gains in popularity and you try to do the same, what can happen is you start to get ad fatigue, meaning that people have seen this design so frequently and this style so often that they instantly, in their brain, whether they consciously think it or not, they know that it's an ad, okay? So that's just something to be wary of. I'm not saying don't test these, I'm saying absolutely you should include these in the mix, but just be careful that with anything, once it becomes popular, um, it often can fade away in terms of ad performance because people start to become highly aware that this is used in an ad. So to create these for yourself, take a photo, overlay some text and some design. You can actually do this in Canva really quickly and easy as well if you use that tool, but that is our second design. The third design I'm going to share with you is the photo only. And I don't know if I can really call that a design because it's just taking a photo, meaning no editing at all apart from cropping, taking a photo and using that in your ad. Now there are a couple of ways you can do this. One of the most popular ways at the moment that works really, really well for us is a really casual photo. Now, so just taking a photo that looks like one that somebody would put in the newsfeed organically, meaning you might see a friend posting something that looks like this. It's not uh, super polished, it doesn't look professionally done, it's just a photo that someone may have taken on their phone. Now the key to this is matching the photo to the emotion that you're trying to invoke with your copy. So if your copy is really happy and upbeat and you're trying to create a positive, happy feeling with your ad copy, then you want a photo that matches, maybe somebody smiling, laughing, having a great time. That is going to work really well. And even better if it's a photo of the person who is running the ad, because then the congruency is really, really high. Those, like I said, they're working really well because that grabs attention 
for the opposite reason I just mentioned in the previous graphic. And what I mean by that is in the previous one, as I said, these are very commonly used, those previous text plus um, image combinations. And so people instantly associate them with ads. But with these photo only ads, people associate a, a photo like that that doesn't look professionally done or photoshopped to be something from their friends. So they generally pay attention to that. So by doing that with your ads, more people pay attention, you get more engagement and therefore better performance. Now the other way you can do this is actually with stock photos. Most people say, ah, avoid the stock photos, don't use stock photos. But if you choose them really well, and again, you match those stock photos to the emotion that you're trying to convey in your ad, then they can actually work quite well. Again, you don't wanna choose the ones that are like the people sitting around a boardroom table or the shaking hands, classic you know, office type stock photo. You don't wanna choose things like that. You wanna choose the stock photos that look casual, that almost don't look like they're professionally done if you can find those. And again, match the feeling and the emotion to what you're trying to convey in the copy. That's the key to choosing a stock photo that actually works with a Facebook ad. And let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these three that we've talked about so far as well. I'd love to hear which ones you've tried or which ones are your go-to as well. Um, so drop it in the comments, we can have a chat about that too. Now the final ad image style I'm going to talk about before I reveal which one performed best for us in our recent tests is the illustration. Now an illustration is the vector type image. It's an illustration that's either done digitally on a computer or done by a person by hand and then scanned in. Um, and these actually work really well because they're quite unusual. And you see a few different styles of these as well. One is the standard sort of vector style that you see that looks a little bit like this. And the other is the cartoon. And these are the ones that are more hand drawn. And I think I'm no graphic designer or artist, but I think these are actually done digitally, like with a digital drawing. Um, and they can draw all sorts of cool looking things for you, including sketches of even the person who's running the ad. Now, as I said, we've seen success with these styles as well, simply because they are very different. Not a lot of people run these, they take a bit more effort to create or to find uh, good versions of. And so when people do see these in the news feed, they often grab attention really, really well. Now, one thing I will say is when you roll out and start testing these, the reason I say test all of these different styles is because you'll notice that for some ad accounts, some styles work particularly well and others don't. But then on a different account with a different product or a different brand, I'll notice that a completely different style will outperform the rest. So it's important to test all of these styles, find what works best for you and then double down on that. And that's how I approach this. I'll go into an account, I'll set up a campaign and I'll test all of these different styles. I'll see which style performs best for that brand and that account. And then I'll actually go and get many, many more creatives made that match that same sort of style. So for example, if my illustrations worked best on one ad account, I would go and get another five, 10 different illustration graphics that I could then keep using in ads because I'm narrowing it down, I'm seeing the style that works best for that account, and then I'm going and optimizing even further by testing many, many different variations of that. Now, for those of you who are curious, the one that's performed best for us recently in the account that I just started was the text-only graphic. So I was really surprised when I ran these tests to see that, that text-only graphic outperformed the other styles by 40% for us. Now again, that worked for us, it may not work for you. Test all of the styles, see what worked best. But in that account, I'm actually testing lots of different variations of text only graphics now, and we're starting to continually optimize and improve our lead costs for that account as well. So if you liked the video, please take a second and tap that like button. It really does help the channel and helps me get in front of more people because my goal is to create the best content on Facebook and Instagram advertising on YouTube. And by you tapping that like button, it helps me get in front of more people and helps me create more great content like this. Thank you as always for watching. I appreciate your time and I will see you soon.